Hi everybody, welcome back and welcome to part 16. Uh, a very very quick overview of what we did last time. Now last time we mainly concentrated on what we did. It was getting the grass actually put down. And if you didn't see that video, we used PVA with some uh, dark brown painting to darken the PVA down. And then we literally just painted the areas and we used the 12 mil grass, pulling it off in tufts and gluing it down. And we managed to get the front and the back oh, all done and completed. But it's not finished there. Uh, there's still a, a lot more to be done. There's lots of bits to be added. And where this, well, well where this video is going to go, I don't really know because there's such a lot to do. So what I'm going to do now is put you on pause and we'll get started on sorting the grass out. Well, actually, we're going to hoover it. Well, I've removed everything and yes you did hear me right when I said I'm going to hoover it I'm going to be using one of these these are these little hoovers that you get for hoovering your keyboard now normally I go across and pull off uh, with tweezers but when we was in the hangout uh, Les said to me he says try one of them little hoovers it should pick all the little bits and pieces up now I've already been playing about and it does do the job and all we're going to do is go across the whole of I'll just do this bit the whole of the uh, diorama and just try and get out all that loose stuff because there is a lot as you can see there's a lot of loose stuff in there and we don't want that all falling around and also if it gives a few bold patches well that's even better because grass doesn't really grow I'm giving that a bit of a workout right so right the way around Okay, I am not going to bore you to death, but if we undo that, and as you can see, it's pulled a lot of it out. Ooh, there we go. So I'm going to go all over this now, and I'm going to hoover the whole lot and get rid of all this loose stuff. Then when I've done that, I shall come back to you. I've given it all a good hoover with my little hoover and we actually got quite a lot off there and these little hoovers they do work so thank you Les a very good little tip and I'm pleased with the results now moving on what I want to do now is start to put uh, some weeds in and I'm going to be using this stuff uh, this is sea foam now it is absolutely brilliant stuff because if you look carefully if you take a piece off and you can actually keep breaking this down because it's like the limbs of a tree or well, the branches and it goes right down to absolutely perfect little bits I don't know if we can see that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to break bits off probably even smaller than that and what I'm going to do I'm just going to place them around and once I get uh, probably I wouldn't call it a pattern once I get what I want I'm just going to lay them all the way around just bits and pieces and when I get what I want then I'll actually glue them because if you glue them as you go along you can't rearrange them it's like flower arranging so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to pull off all little bits and I'm going to run all the way around I might even uh, actually I probably will I'm going to break that top off because that little bit there is going to make a really great bush down in that far corner and we can come back with a little bit of PVA and uh, 
we can put a few leaves and bits and pieces on that a bit later but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to carry on and I'm going to put all these bits in and when I've done it all and finished I shall come back to you and let you have a look I've been around and I've scattered the sea foam just in different places it's not set in stone what's going to happen but I am going to start gluing these bits in I managed to do a bit of a bush behind the back of the uh, wagon should I say and I've sort of like just randomly done it and my OCD doesn't allow me to do random I have to sort of virtually close my eyes and just put it in but I'm quite happy with that so what I'm actually going to do now is I'm going to go around and glue everything in and I'm just going to take the piece out I've got some PVA I'm going to dip the end into the PVA and try and remember where I actually got it from and put it back in and glue it down so I'm going to run through all that now I'm going to get everything glued in place but don't be surprised that when I come back that there may be a few bits added or a few bits taken away all the sea foam has been glued in place now I've done this side and I've done the far side now I've also got managed to find some little uh, twigs which I thought were quite nice because they got this uh, like moss on them yellowy moss for the moment I've placed them in the cart they may stay there they may not we'll see now what I want to try and do is I'm going to try and put a little bit of colour in and I'm going to use this heather and I know it looks quite bright on the camera but it's not as bright as that and what I'm going to try and do is pull off the most smallest of bits I don't know if you can see that about that size and what I'm going to do is a little bit of glue on the bottom and we're just going to randomly place them there we go like that I don't know if you can see that but I'm going to go all over just little tiny dots of colour so I'm going to get on with that and I should be back with you shortly get down nice and close so you can see uh, how small that I've actually done these uh, little flowers it's just to give it that hint of colour uh, in the actual grass itself now I've been all the way around and I've done this on both sides just little flecks here and there and the next colour I'm going to be using is going to be this real bright yellow and I'm going to do exactly the same really small tiny little bits and I'm just going to randomly place them all over so I'm going to get on with that then when I've done that I'll come back to you so you can have a look I've put quite a lot of these little yellow flowers in and unfortunately the camera isn't showing you how uh, strong yellows they are and in real life they are really standing out and they're a little bit too should I say harsh a little bit too colorful so what I want to do before I go any further is I'm just going to get some of my Vallejo dipping wash it's the wash that I normally use I don't know if I get that into the camera this is the brown all I'm going to do is I'm going to go over and I'm just going to touch in the yellows and just soften them off a little bit now this will take me uh, a few minutes so I'm going to get on and get this done I'm going to do all of these uh, I know it uh, seems a bit silly but it just takes the harshness off of the colour and just sort of I don't know I suppose it brings it down to 135th scale because it just makes it look right to me so I'm going to go over all of this and get all them done and when we come back we're going to get on with um, because I'm going to leave this grass alone for a little while because I need a little bit of time to have a think and see what I'm going to do next and when we come back I'm actually going to be doing this base bit if I pull the camera back a little bit as you can see I've already taped up and we're going to run some uh, mixed sand and earth to give us our second level i.e. the subsoil all the way around so we'll be doing that when we come back but first I'm going to get on and get all this done 
I've put you in nice and close because the simple reason is when I pull the camera away you're not actually going to see the difference it makes. Now this sort of clump I've touched in with the brown uh, wash and it's sort of separated it up it's not made it such a, a big blob of yellow but I thought I'd show you it up close because the simple reason is like I say is when I pull the camera away it just totally blends everything in so I'm gonna pull the camera away in a minute and we'll get started on the next bit camera's been pulled back and as you can see that little that was the blobs of yellow have gone and that's what I meant when you pull the camera away it just blends everything in now we're not finished on there I've still got quite a bit to do I've still got other things to add but I'm going to give myself a little bit of a rest and I'm just going to move on to something else uh, while I'm having to think about what I'm going to do next on the grass now what I want to do is get this bottom edge all sorted out uh, cleaned up now what I've done is I've got some ordinary sharp sand yeah, uh, with a bit of my uh, fine topsoil. I've mixed them together in a little pot and I've mixed them together with some PVA and just a little bit of water. Exactly the same as what we did on the top. Now I've mixed it with a little bit of water just to give it that little bit of a uh, a plastery feel to it and what I'm going to do I've got one of these it's all dirty bit of tissue. I've got one of these uh, it's dirty it's filthy so I'm not putting your tools away clean now what I'm going to do I've got one of these like flat little spatula things these are them wax tools and all I'm going to do is I'm going to up that and just keep pulling it up all the way along the edge and literally just plaster this bottom bit in I don't want it really smooth so and I'm not really fussed how far I go up now I'm going to do that all the way around and also what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run my little tool around the bottom there just to give me that bit of a edge in because when I come to actually spraying the base I want to be able to put some uh, masking tape down and just better tuck it in so I can spray and get a nice finish and hopefully that will be a sort of like a, a disappearing point between the these the soil and the actual base so I'm going to carry on and when I've done I should come back to you now I've plastered, well yeah, plastered all the bottom half. Unfortunately it's not worked out the way I wanted it to work out because I thought if I used the light sand I'd get sort of a bit more of a, a defined line but it hasn't worked out that way. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to give it a wash. Now I've made a 50-50 wash and I've used the MIG uh, new wood, it's sort of like a beigey colour and I've mixed that with uh, 50 percent uh, thinners and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to virtually trace round now using my brush trace all the way around get this just a coat of this light on it and then once it dries I shall have a look, little look and we might have to just put a wash another wash over the top of it just to tone it down but we'll see so what I'm going to do now I'm going to run all the way around and when I've done it all I should come back to you I've gone around with the wood uh, the new wood should I say and I thought it would be quite sort of bold but it isn't it isn't really bold enough for me so my next step is I've got some dark sand and I've got two lots, so I've got one I've mixed down to a 50-50 mix which I'm just going to use uh, to sort of, I don't know, probably highlight along and all I'm going to do is just take areas up using this 
dark sand and I'm going to go all the way round just like putting little light areas and also I've got some neat that I've not thinned down at all which I'm going to move into different areas and try and get that stony sandy gravelly effect that a of the base material so I'm going to go all the way around now and I'm going to lighten all that up when I've done that I'll come back to you because I think then I'm going to need some washes to actually knock it back and blend it in I've used the sand all the way around and I've used the neat should I say sand just to give a few highlights still not happy still not quite the, what I really want so the next colour I'm going to be dropping in is wood which is as you can see slightly orangey and what I'm going to be doing with that is nothing too fantastic I literally am going to just speckle it should I say with this orange and this is going to take quite a while and that's all I'm going to do I'm just going to go around and just give it little dobs here and there so I'm going to carry on with that then when I've done that I'll come back to you I've been all around and speckled it all with that uh, ordinary wood the orangey one and it, it's getting there uh, but what I'm going to do next is my 50-50 mix of the brown dipping wash I am literally just going to paint all over it probably with a bit slightly larger paintbrush but I'm going to give that this brown wash all the way around and after it dries I'm going to give it uh, a coat of the black wash uh, that is the 50 50 as well and I'm just going to give it a coat all over and then I'll come back to you and we'll see what it looks like now I've given it a brown coat and I've given it a black wash over the top I've removed all the uh, masking tape and I'm sat here and I'm looking actually at the screen what the camera sees and it doesn't look that impressive uh, the simple reason being it, it I don't know there's just something not quite right with it uh, I think it might be that it's got a gloss finish to it and it really needs to be matted down but if I pull you down slightly closer when the camera decides to focus there we go is the camera going to focus come on camera yes we are now when you get down closer it looks so much better so I think my next step is I'm going to use a map a map medium on it of some shape size or description and get it matted down uh, I'm going to pull the camera pack up again because this is going to be the final clip on this video because the simple reason is there's lots and lots come on camera focus thank you there's still lots and lots to do and I'm sort of like uh, playing about with things in my head especially with the grass I need to get something else in there but I'm going to leave it at the moment for the simple reason is there's still a lot to, to actually go inside and I don't want to over do the outside because the whole idea of this diorama is to draw your attention into what's going on inside so I'm going to leave everything as it is I'm just going to mat this bottom down hopefully that's going to uh, blend it in a little bit better and like I say this is going to be the last clip but the video is still going to keep going because there's so much for me to be getting on with uh, the next video is going to be it's going to get started with the doors and the door frames and things like that all the way through uh, but that's in the next video now that is where I'm going to leave it uh, I've achieved quite a bit I've done quite a lot of photographs which I will tag them on to the end of the video so you can see 
uh, you can actually really see the different changes as I put different layers on so with that all I can do is say thank you very much for joining me hopefully we'll see you on the next one until then <laughs>